They have won all nine official games they played this season, including four in the Euroleague. And it's not like Olympiacos have done it against easy competition. They beat household names like Barcelona, Real Madrid and Basconia all on their courts and managed to overcome Jalgiris at an empty peace and friendship stadium. My name is Augustas and in this video we are going to look at how the hottest Euroleague team keeps winning. Slukas back, can he do it again? Slukas with the fake, Slukas with the land! And Slukas with three seconds to go gets Tavares off his feet. So far, the Greek team is winning games with their offense. They have the second best offensive rating only behind Basconia. They are also in the top five of various other categories. Not only it is a merit of Yorgos Bartsokas who has installed a beautiful free-flowing offense in Piraeus, but at the same time it is a testament to their roster continuity. Out of all Euroleague top tier teams, they have changed the least elements of the starting lineup. It allows Olympiacos to run pretty much the same plays as last year and continue building on their chemistry. Just look at some of these beautiful ball movement situations where they seem to know perfectly where and when to pass, move and cut. Nobody is wasting time dribbling the ball without purpose as they easily flow into secondary movements when the main play doesn't create advantage. With his first points of the Let's get into the details of this beauty. So basically, a big part of Olympiakos' offense is based on this entry that looks like flex offense. Guard cuts across Vizenkov, Bulgarian receives a pin down and then we see the first option of this entry. It is the Miami action which is a handoff into pick and roll, where the Greeks look for Slukas to attack left and do his magic. Here Vizenkov brilliantly cuts before the pass arrives to his hands, but we'll talk about his off-ball movement later. You'll see Bartokas' team use this again and again. Now sometimes this play could have a shorter entry without the flex action you saw in the beginning, but the main play remains the same. It is perfect for Slukas to attack left and look for cutting teammates while evaluating the help defenses, or for Walkup and Makisic to attack right. Here you see the American rejecting the screen and exposing Baskania's defense for two points. For Makisic! The options don't stop here. Olympiacos love the Spain pick and roll and it is a possibility from this set as well. Basconia here do a great job initially switching between guards, forcing Slukas to play rescreen where he is patient and sees Ballon Boy getting in behind Basconia's backline. There is actually an option for everyone from the same entry. Here you see a continuation and a cross screen for Foul to get a post up touch. Once again, it finishes with the center finding Vizenkov, who demonstrates a fantastic cut from split action. Against Real Madrid, they use this post up touch only to later attack Tavares. Fall gives it back to Walkup, sets a step up screen, and with the weak side empty, dunks it all over the Real Madrid giant. Oh, up, down, under, and the dunk. There's more. Some teams try to play it smart, knowing that Olympiacos will run the same entry multiple times during the game. You see Ulana was here top locking Bezenkov, not letting him go up and receive the ball? That's smart, but be aware of this backdoor lob that they already tried a couple of times this season. Another staple of their offense is a modern classic, side pick and pop into the top pick and roll. Olympiacos rarely use the side action, it is more of a build up play to involve as many people of the five as possible. This scheme is extremely efficient against tall and slower bigs and Bartokas used it as the main weapon against the drop of Tavares. Thomas Walkup and Mustafa Fall conducted a pick and roll clinic against Real Madrid, creating points three times the same way. Point guard puts his defender on his back, Fall sets a Gortat screen to Tavares in the paint, blocking the giant away from Walkup, thus allowing him to score easily. To free up Walkup with a beautiful look. As I said, the screen on the side is usually not dangerous, but opponents have to stay alert. We saw before that McKissick loves to reject the screen and use his first quick step. This side pick is a perfect spot to do exactly that since the center is going away from the rim and is not there to protect it. And when Wazenkov is involved in the play too, there can be no relaxing done. Here he slips the pick at the last second, forcing a miscommunication error between Chacho and Gabriel Deck, once again creating points out of his movement. God, what a soft touch from the lefty. We just have to spend the entire segment talking about this as it is a huge part of Olympiacos' success and also who knows, maybe we are going to be talking about a Euroleague MVP who creates the most havoc off the ball. He is making his primary defenders look silly with all the cuts and all the easy points he scores. We already saw the Stampedi cut from the top of the key area as it has become a trademark of his, 
whenever Slukas drives left into the paint and he fills in behind. He also almost never sets real screens. Expect a slip since most teams switch or do a quick one-step show against pick and roll with power forward, making this element an overpowered way to attack this kind of defensive choice. Nice gets it back from Papa Nicolau. In the match against Real Madrid, it was funny to see Yebuzele lose Vezenkov on every second possession. First, the Frenchman tries to cheat cutting the screen and is punished immediately with a free. Then, a flare screen when Slukas played pick and roll in the center, once again put Real's miscommunication issues on display with Sasha cutting to the rim freely. He is also a huge threat on offensive glass, mainly because he starts moving from the three-point line to the rim earlier than everyone else. Here he sees Makisic driving, slashes to the rim with Yebuzele sleeping on perimeter, only to get the easiest two points of the evening. Or on this pick and roll, he just never stops moving with Cannon driving, tipping in his teammate's miss. This is textbook material and Sasha Vizenkov is without a question the best off-ball player in the Euroleague right now. Lovely pass! And now a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video. Every year, Dr. Sinek Hair Hospital treats more than 10,000 patients worldwide while providing them with a welcoming environment. The clinic has high-tech equipment, more than 20 years of experience and a higher success rate than most hair transplant clinics. Make sure to check the link in the description where you can have a special 10% discount using it. Now, let's get back to the video and you know it's time to talk about Lorenzakis, don't you? If Costas Lucas' dominance in the clutch is a long-time well-known fact, Yanul is having the best fourth quarter scoring average so far is becoming a myth. With Isaiah Cannon struggling to adapt in red and white jersey, the Greek guard has taken over his spot in the end game lineups. In four games played, he has made 11 shots from 15 tries in the fourth quarter and has made seven frees out of nine. Ooh, that's a lovely three pointer. He capitalized on every opportunity the opponents gave. Barcelona players twice helped from him way too much in situations where they didn't need to, and Lorenzakis delivered. Spot-up frees were supposed to be the main and only thing from Lorenzakis, but we are seeing some incredible shot-making from the best fourth-quarter scorer in the Euroleague. Here he is the ball handler on the famous Spain pick-and-roll with Slukas denied and converts on the same hand, same leg layup. On the next play, Olympiakos' possession is lost as Lorenzakis ends up with the ball with 6 seconds remaining. He has to create something out of nothing and pulls out this step back three in the face of Sergio Yui. Wants a step back for three. Oh, he did it again! This free with two minutes remaining was a turning point against Madrid, with Slukas later showing his class once again. Portsakas calls Spain pick and roll for the game winning possession, Costas drives to the rim, pump fakes Tavares out of his shoes, and wins the game with one of the easiest game winners of his career. Lorenzakis had his moment against Barcelona. If two frees in the fourth quarter weren't enough, he decided to add two more. Once again, one came from the Spain pick and roll. Yanulis was the back screener, Laprovitola tried to draw a charge on Tariq Black, leaving the shooter wide open. Again, isn't he? Yes, he is! He is! Larenzakis! But the most important shot came couple possessions before. With Barca still hanging in there, Walkup didn't create anything on pick and roll, giving Larenzakis the ball near half court with five seconds to go. We are not used to seeing him in these situations with the ball, but the guard did not panic and secured the winning start for Olympiakos. Going for another three. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Janunis Laranzakis is becoming the game winner for Olympiakos. Olympiakos are rolling to start the season, but can they keep up the same level of play for the whole year? Is Sasha Vizenkov bound for an MVP season? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have you heard of BN Plus? That's where you can get even more exclusive basketball content. Make sure you join us here.